Hi Wooten family, welcome back to the video series Create With Me. My name is Celeste and I'm the Public Allies intern. I'll be hosting these videos every other week so that we can all come together to do something fun and creative. For today's activity, we're going to be making stencils and the country we're traveling to is Egypt. Egypt is located in the northeastern corner of Africa and has both Arab and Islamic social and cultural traditions. Today, modern Egypt is actually a response to the intrusion of the West. The ancient Egyptians focused on life and its continuation for eternity. It was believed that death was not an end, but actually a moment where one returns to where they had come from. Hieroglyphics, which is a writing system used by the ancient Egyptians to represent their language, can be seen carved on the walls of their tombs and pottery. Let's take a look at some. So, this symbol right here is known as the Ankh, and it represents life. This right here represents water or liquid. You can tell it looks like waves. This one right here represents the sky or anything that's above something. This represents the sun. It can also represent light and time. And these, which you probably have seen before, um, the left eye symbolizes the eye of Horus. Horus was actually a falcon and it represents protection, health, and restoration. This one, which is seen as the right eye, is the eye of Ra, and the eye of Ra represents protection, royal authority, and the power of the sun. Now that we learned a little bit more about hieroglyphics and what they mean, let's get started and make our stencils. The materials you'll be needing will be a pencil, scissors, a thick paper or a paper plate will do, another sheet of paper, markers and if you don't have markers and if you don't have paint we can actually make our own paint so for that you'll need shaving cream and food coloring as well as a toothpick to mix it together and a sponge let's get started you're going to take your thick paper or paper plate and draw your stencil for me, I'm going to draw the water symbol. So let's begin. So you first are gonna draw the basic lines like this. Then you're going to draw a line right here and make it thicker. Cause this area is what we're gonna cut out. So you wanna do that for the top and the bottom. Also, feel free to pause this video. We don't want you rushing or cutting anything you're not supposed to, like your fingers. So. <laughs> You're going to take your scissors and the easiest way to, the safest way to get to the middle of the design is you're going to fold your paper just a little bit and make a snip. You're going to make a small little snip right there. And then you can begin cutting inside. Once you have cut out your design, you'll notice the negative space is where your image is going to show. So, you're going to take your blank sheet of paper you have, and if you have markers, you can just place your stencil over your sheet like this, take off your marker cap, and just begin outlining. So you can color inside the negative space, and when you remove your stencil, you have your image like this. Now if you have paints, you would simply take a little drop of paint and your sponge and dab it on the image. But let's make our own paint right now. You want to go grab something like maybe an extra paper plate or a piece of cardboard that you're going to pour your shaving cream on. So you're just going to pour just a little bit, that much, not a lot. And you're going to take your food coloring, I got blue, and you're just going to add one drop, two drop, three drop. That is it. Take your toothpick and just kind of blend it together. You'll see like the cool little swirls and all of that. Have your paper ready. Have your stencil on top of your paper. And take your sponge. And you're only going to take like maybe that much. And you're going to dab it over your stencil just like that. 
All right, let's see. Look at that. And you would never have guessed that was shaving cream. You can even blend colors. You can do dark blue to medium to light blue. Get creative. We all want to see your end results. And please, let us continue to explore this beautiful country of Egypt in our world languages and culture with cooking class now held on Wednesdays at 4 to 5.30 p.m. on Zoom, open to registered students in grades 3 through 12. You can register for our free College Trek After School program at www.wootoncenter.org slash online. We also offer Minecraft, robotics, singing, and much more. It's open to students in grades 3 through 12. This is Celeste, and I hope to see you all back here again on Create With Me. Bye.